Boys, I'm confused. So last video I made, I was talking about how I expected us to show some interest in a veteran corner like Xavier Rhodes or Adore Jackson. Oh, was I wrong. Both of them signed elsewhere, leaving like two corners available in free agency that I would be okay with them signing. Honestly, with who's left in free agency, I doubt the Cardinals pursue anyone based on what's transpired so far. When the corner market was stacked with solid free agents, they didn't even engage in it at all. We only have two corners on the roster as well, so it puts us in a really weird situation. And also, in an interview today on Arizona Cardinals YouTube, Steve Keim reiterated that he thinks Byron Murphy is one of the best slot corners in the league, so I highly doubt he even moves to the outside, although Steve Keim said he could do it. Now that there's like no starting corners available in free agency, our chances of signing someone have been drastically lowered, or at least that's what makes sense to me. You can never count out Steve Keim to make a stupid move, because if he sees a 35-year-old veteran corner available, who used to be good in like 2012 he'll probably make a move and sign him to like a two-year 30 million dollar deal somehow some way this position has to be addressed or we're gonna be in big big trouble we have an absolutely amazing front seven probably top five in the league but if we can't cover anyone what's the point now there is a chance and i don't know how likely this is but we could end up giving our second round pick to get jc jackson or since the patriots are also shopping stefan gilmore we could probably get him for a second round pick as well if we can get any of them for a second round pick, Steve Kime, you better make that move instantly. I don't trust Steve Kime's drafting anyway, so if we can get a starting corner who is a former defensive player of the year, you pull the trigger. I feel like I speak for every Cardinals fan when I say this. If you don't pull that trigger and you have JC Jackson as an option and you have Stephon Gilmore and all you have to do is give up a second round pick, it does not matter. You pull the trigger, please, Steve Kime, please. Now, since JC Jackson is a free agent, we would have to give up that second round pick that I'm talking about because he's tendered. I would be cool with either of these moves, but Steve Kime, you have to address this. I would be cool with either of these corners on our roster because it beats Robert Alford as our outside corner. Steve Kime, listen to me. Make one of these moves and every Cardinals fan will forgive you for all the media mediocre years that you've been here for, all the draft fails, all the heartbreak and misery, we'll forgive you. Well, at least somewhat. But if you take a corner in round one, we already know whoever you take will probably end up being a bust anyway, so don't do that. I just want to make a little quick update video about our corner situation because as soon as we get a starting corner, our team and our defense gets 500 times better. But here we are still with no corner. We have a slot corner on the roster and someone who will probably get hurt walking down his own stairs. This team probably has like a two-year window. So if Steve Kime wants to go all in, you trade for Stephon Gilmore or you sign JC Jackson. It's that simple. A rookie corner won't be the answer for this team unless he's a perennial all-pro, but we all know with Steve Kimes' draft picks, they never pan out anyway, so there's no point in even going that route. Would you rather bank on a rookie performing at a high level in the next two years in a win-it-now season, or would you rather trade for Stephon Gilmore or sign JC Jackson? You tell me. His job is honestly probably on the line these next two years as well, and if he doesn't meet the expectations, which is probably a deep playoff run or a Super Bowl, I don't expect Steve Kime being back in Arizona. I hope so. Okay. But that's just my perspective on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. How do you guys think we're going to address the corner spot? What do you think we'll do? What moves do you think? Do you guys think we're going to go to the draft route? Or do you guys think we're going to go free agency, trade? Just let me know what you guys think we're going to do. I honestly have no clue whatsoever. I'm hoping they go the Stephon Gilmore route. That is my, like, number one hope. But if we somehow get JC Jackson, I'd be so cool with that as well. Now, obviously, as of now as well, we don't have much cap space, but we can obviously make some of that up. Like I said last video, we could obviously cut Devon Kennard, extend Justin Pugh, extend Chandler Jones. Like, there's a way of freeing up cap space, so that's honestly not a problem. And I'm sure if it was to bring in JC Jackson or Stephon Gilmore, Chandler Jones would probably restructure his contract instantly. Justin Pugh, same thing. And you better not have any hesitations cutting Devon Kennard, because I'm telling you, we are stacked at outside linebacker. That's all I got for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Like the video if you guys are new. That's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.